What is radio frequency? It makes me think of, I don't know, microwaves in like the 1950s and Morse code. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's similar to microwave energy. Radio frequency is actually microwave energy, but at a much lower energy level. And what it is, it's vibrating energy that we use to apply to the skin. And when we apply that energy to the skin, the main target is water. And water has polarity. So when the water molecules see that energy vibrating, the water molecules try to imitate that. When it does that, then the water gets warm and it gets hot and then it heats the tissues around it. And what's usually it's accompanying the collagen molecules. So the collagen molecules get warm to the point of being a little too warm and then some of them become denatured. Uh, they become denatured at around 55 degrees centigrade. The surface of the skin is usually 40 degrees at that point in time. And then what happens is that collagen fiber gets damaged and the body eventually replaces it with a brand new collagen fiber. So that once you have treatment with radio frequency, your body will be forced to produce collagen even if it doesn't feel like it anymore and will make your skin look nicer and tighter. Wow, so I'll, I'll break it down, because uh, that was a lot of information, great information explaining what it is, but it almost sounds like what you said, it, it's, it's like a microwave, but at a much lower frequency, is, yes. that, is that correct? Uh, the machines we usually use have two megahertz, four megahertz, six megahertz, and by the way, six megahertz is six million times per second. That's kind of slow in comparison to a microwave. To a microwave, yeah. Right, that's why the potato gets cooked so quickly. It's filled with water and the water vibrates very quickly and it cooks the, the, the potato very quickly. And the same thing happens with the skin. We only cook a few of the collagen fibers. <laughs> gotcha. The body has to replace it with brand new collagen. And guess what? You look much better in the end. <laughs>